Hey, what's up? Nasser Malik here. In the last tutorial, we created this simple Selenium script, but creating automation in this manner, it's unmanageable. Imagine if you have to manage 100 or more scripts like this for a project and try to update UI and data requirements frequently, it'll be very cumbersome. So let me give you an example. So let's say if we have 100 or more scripts and each script is going to have repeated steps. For example, this part of the script is a login. If you have 100 more script, it's going to be repeated in every script. So that means if there are changes to login screen, you would have to go to each script to change these values. And it's very time consuming, especially in this day and age when we're using agile um, methodology two to four week sprints it's impossible to go through all the scripts and update in a timely manner so this is a very small example so you're going to run into issue where you have a financial application big form where the uh, your uh, regression um, set is maybe two to four hundred scripts so it even gets more complex going through and uh, manually modifying and updating all the scripts so that's where automation framework comes into play. It helps us to remove redundancy and duplicate code and make changes in one location. And it is propagated into all of the scripts within that framework. So one thing to keep in mind uh, while designing automation framework, regardless of how complex the automation framework is, the framework should achieve a key goal and that is to make it easy to develop, manage, and maintain automation test cases, data, and reports. So today, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss page object model, or short for POM. So what is page object model? So it is a process in which you create a class for each page of your application and create a class method for each page element within that class. So let me give you an example. Let's take a look at a login page. Every application has a login page, and it's the most simple example. So in a page object model, we will create a class, doesn't matter what language you're using, for each page. In this example, for a login page, we'll create a class login. Next, on this page, we have three elements, username, password, and unsign in. So we need to create three methods in this class. For username, we'll create a method, username, and it will take one parameter, username. So this is just an uh, example. We will be building this. Next, we will create a password method, and a password method takes a parameter password next we'll create a method for the sign in button and the sign in button you can name it sign in or login this is just an example but usually it's a good practice to name your methods exactly uh, there on a screen um, on your application screen so i made a mistake here put in login but it should have been sign in. So here is a very simple example of page object model. That's what it is. So you'll create a class for the login page and for each element you're going to interact with, you need to create a method. And in that method, you will enter your code. As you can see, username and password methods take a parameter where login method doesn't take any parameter and you can ignore the self keyword it is similar to as this keyword in a page object model basically we're going to do something like this so let's build it <clears throat> so if we go back and we look at our script we want to do is instead of having hard-coded code right here for login we're gonna replace it with page object model code so let's start. Let me st before we start. Let me um, separate it so we can understand exactly what we're doing. 
So I'm going to comment this out. So what we're going to do is now create a very simple Python script. We're going to call it palm. So, so I just pause the video to just uh, line up, open up the application and line it up so we can uh, see the application and we can side by side write the code. So what I'm going to do very first thing, <clears throat> as we discussed, that we need to create a class for a login page. So we'll start by creating a class. login and by the way I mean this palm model works for all the languages out there most of them I mean Java C sharp uh, everyone uses the uh, same um, process so we just created a um, login uh, class for the login page next we're going to do is create a method for username so for username we're going to create a method and you can see that if you're using PyCharm IDE it um, enters the self keyword automatically so you don't need to type it in so now it's going to take a parameter so since we need to give it a, a username value that it's going to use to log in so we're going to use uh, name, and and you always want to differentiate how you type your variable names and your uh, method names, and it's much easier and makes it script more readable. So in this method, for now, we're just gonna. Um, so in this method, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the code from here. And here's the username where we're entering. This is a script we recorded through the uh, Selenium recorder. So I'm going to grab these two lines. Uh, the first line is clearing the text box, this text box. And the second line is entering Mercury for the username. So I need these two lines to put into that uh, code. So that method. So I'm going to paste it here. Uncomment. And I'm going to take this uh, variable or parameter name that we have and replace it with the actual value. So when we call this method, we will uh, give it a, a value and that value will be used here to log in. Um, you can ignore this um, uh, error right now. We're going to fix it in a minute. But let's build all the methods for these um, page elements. So next, I'm going to just going to copy this. So it's it's simple, um, similar. So I'm going to paste it. So after the username, we're going to do the next one is password. Password and password. And the password takes a parameter. There we go. And the last one is sign in. So since signing is just a clicking on the button, so we don't need to uh, <clears throat> give any uh, values. We can, instead of a send keywords, we need to have the click. And then the username, um, we need to make sure we get grab this line right there password one I mean because I copy pasted the code so it has the wrong uh, yeah. 
Okay, so let's look at it. So what we did so far. So we just created a class. Uh, we created a, um, a new uh, Python script, Python file. We created a class inside it called login for the login page. And for the three elements on the page, we created a method and we created parameters um, for the each element that requires a value and the log sign in doesn't require any value. So we have a different method there to just click. So we're done here so far. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a class constructor or you can say initialization part of it. To do that, we do def underscore underscore net underscore and that's it. So in this, we're going to say we're going to pass a parameter for the class initialization, which is a driver. And then we're going to initialize it by using self keyword self dot driver equals driver. So basically what it does is when we call this uh, login class, it takes a parameter driver. We're going to pass it wherever we call it from. And it's going to take that driver object and it's going to initialize a variable driver within this class that is available for all the methods within this class. So you see these uh, red underscore on all the driver keywords because there is no such uh, object in this class driver and it can't find it so it highlighted it, uh, under, it underscore of a red line. So now we defined it in initialization part. So we're just simply going to do is add dot driver. So as soon as you see the, the error underscore uh, went away. I'm going to do the same thing for all of them. There we go. So using, uh, also we need to make sure that we uh, uh, type in, um, um, import the Selenium web driver here. we will be building on, on top of this so so we're done here basically so this is a very simple uh, page object model based um, login uh, class we just created so we're gonna go ahead and use this now so we'll go in here the very first thing we'll do is we'll do from palm this is the file we just created palm import login so as you can see um, this import is uh, giving an error so for now just we're gonna do is instead of fixing it um, we're gonna just move this file into the root of the project Okay, so now <clears throat> we're um, importing the palm file that we just created, Python script, and we're importing the login class within that. So how do you use it? Uh, very easy. So we're going to, let me just uh, get this. So we comment out the actual recorded uh, login part. So what do we, first thing we need to do is we're going to call it we're going to create a object variable 
login I'm going to initialize the login class and you know the login class takes a parameter a parameter driver so we're going to pass that so you are already initializing a driver here so we're going to pass that so that's the initialization part so now we can say login dot username and we can give it a name uh, value uh, which is a name value so we're going to say same thing login dot password I'm gonna give it a password value and last we're going to do is login dot sign in and it doesn't take any value so that's it so we replaced this code with this so now um, imagine uh, you know we talked about going through all the scripts and replacing hard code values and data so if you're using this um, method uh, I mean this is a very simple example right now we still have hard-coded values uh, you know as we do next tutorials we're going to remove those and replace it with parameters and stuff but when you're managing your login piece uh, this will be the single class that will be called by all of the scripts you have to do login so if you make a change in this file it affects all the scripts that are using this login class so right now we still have hard-coded values for object uh, uh, mappings or um, the how to recognize the objects so we'll, we'll get these uh, get to him uh, later on uh, so this is just to get the understanding what the palm uh, process is and how it works and how it helps us to manage our automation scripts and uh, update them easily so we're done here so we replaced this code with this let's run it and see if it works okay something wrong let me check Okay, so uh, we when we copy pasted, we copy pasted the method, so we uh, forgot to remove this line. So we need to make sure, because login is just to click on the login image. So we just need that. So let's run it again. All right, so it is working. Hopefully, uh, you'll understand how to implement uh, Palm process. It was a very simple example. I uh, wanted to make you understand how it works because we're going to be somewhat using this method to build our automation framework. So this is it for this tutorial. Until next time, bye.